When you grow up in the shadow of one of the biggest stars of all time, it must be daunting to enter the spotlight. But Tracy Ellis Ross has carved out an impressive career all of her own. Her mom, Diana Ross, became famous as one of the Supremes before going solo. Meanwhile, Tracy found success as an actress, starring in Girlfriends and Blackish, and she also works as a producer and director. But what about the other side of Ross's family tree? In December 2020, Tracy posted a rare shot on Instagram of her father, Robert Ellis Silberstein, also known as Bob Ellis. She captioned the photo, I miss you, looking forward to hanging out soon. Considering that both Tracy and her mother live quite public lives, we decided to take a peek into the life of Silberstein to discover the untold truth of Tracy Ellis Ross's father. In her Instagram post, Tracy linked to Silberstein's Instagram account, where he has more than 24,000 followers. At a glance, you can tell he shares his daughter's left-leaning political views, supports Ross's career, and lives in active social life. A longtime music manager and executive, Silberstein was born into a well-off Jewish family of garment manufacturers in Elberon, New Jersey. I can also do, you know, my Jewish self. According to a 1976 People cover story, he joked about his hometown. Since Bruce Springsteen, I say Asbury Park. Although he attempted to go into teaching after graduating from West Virginia University, he had a fight with the principal and instead moved to California. According to People, Silberstein is one of Hollywood's most likable and few trustable young personal managers, though when he met Diana six years ago, he was just a jobless newcomer two months in town. He was, naturally, Diana Ross's manager back in the day. Silberstein later began investing in real estate and, in addition to Diana, has managed such musicians as Chaka Khan, Meatloaf, and Ron Wood of the Rolling Stones. When Silberstein first met his future wife, Diana Ross, in the late 1960s, she was already a superstar. As noted by People, he had just arrived in town and was unemployed. However, when she asked for his help while at a store gift shopping for her then-partner, legendary Motown founder Barry Gordy, Diana was instantly smitten. Describing him to People, Diana said, Said. Silberstein is a rare thing, a gentleman who is young, alive, and very handsome. All the fantasy things you think of in a husband. The two casually dated for a year and a half until Silberstein gave her some red pajamas to match a pair of his own. The pajamas were a sign, and as Diana revealed to people, it was the first time we realized we were a couple. Silberstein had already begun managing Diana's career when the two married in 1971. By the time they said their vows, there were three in the relationship, as Diana was two months pregnant pregnant with a daughter. Rhonda Suzanne Silberstein was born in August 1971, and her biological father was actually Diana's ex, Barry Gordy. Silberstein adopted the baby, giving her his last name, and Rhonda grew up thinking he was her biological father until age 13. The newlyweds went on to have two more girls, Tracy, who was born in 1972, and Chudney Ross, born in 1975. People reported in 1976, they share a sleekly modern mansion Diana bought in Beverly Hills equipped with a cook, an English secretary, a yardman, a housekeeper, a nanny, Diana's 20-year-old brother, Chico, and her nephew, Tommy, seven. Sadly, things weren't meant to be as Diana and Silberstein divorced in 1977. However, they stayed amicable, and he told People in 1984, "...our separation is almost too good to believe, like brother and sister. We have a very casual approach. The kids will come over, or I'll wander over to Diana's for dinner." Diana went on to date Kiss rocker Jean Simmons before marrying Arnes Jr., a Norwegian business businessman in 1986. Together, they had two boys, Ross Ness and Evan Ross, before ultimately divorcing in 2000. Tracy and her dad remain super close and share more than just genetics. The Blackish star told People in 2014, "...my sense of humor, my silly personality, and my nose are all Bob Ellis. I'm very much my father's daughter." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.